There's so many of these different 360 applications, my head is swimming just thinking about it. However, right out of the gate, this is a pretty cool feature I'm going to show you. See, when I'm using a BIM 360 application such as Collaboration for Revit, and we start having issues syncing with a central model, I go to health.autodesk.com to see if the service is having issues. From there, I can tell my users, or if I'm on a large project where I'm not the BIM manager, I can get told if there are issues. So let's take a look at the health dashboard and go through the list. I'm just going to jump to that URL. Usually I'll jump right to where I'm going. Like I mentioned, collaboration for Revit. Good. It looks like it's working as expected. But let's jump down through because the reason I want to bring you to this dashboard first is because this lists pretty much all of the cloud applications Autodesk has. A360 is more of a mobile device unit. AutoCAD 360 is the same thing. Building Ops is pretty cool. This is more facility management software. Autodesk Live, I have this. Basically what this is, is we use it with the Vive HTC and it's virtual reality. We have account administration, 360 docs, which we'll touch on in this course, field glue and plan. These are all in the same type of suite. And we'll look at that. Buzzsaw, which is a really great Autodesk web sharing application, which is pretty much Autodesk's oldest cloud solution. They just didn't know it was called the cloud at the time. Of course, cloud rendering, we can do that for most applications such as Revit, AutoCAD, C4R, which is what I like to use, and we will get into C4R in this class. Configurator, Constructware, Fusion, and down the list. Now, what we'll see is, a lot of times if it's not fully operational or it's degraded or down, if BIM 360 team is down, what we'll see in this course is it will cascade back down through collaboration for Revit. It'll cascade down through a lot of different things. So in a nutshell, this is a lineup of all of the BIM 360 applications. Remember that link I gave you. Keep it around. It's pretty handy.